Well, hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Playframe and welcome to Rain World, a game that I wanted to show off but needed somebody who would be better at it to help. I've got a guest today, uh, someone who people who've been watching this channel for a while may be familiar with. Uh, and for those of you who don't know him yet, this is Will. Will. Hello, hello. I'm going to be your, your Rain World Sherpa for this evening. <laughs> yes. Will and I have known each other for a good while. Will is a streamer. Uh, Viking Blonde, I believe, is your... Uh... Yes, uh, Viking Blonde is my moniker. And once again, it was a joke. It was very funny for about two days. And now I'm stuck with it forever. That's, ha that's how screen names <laughs> go. That's how I, I understand. <laughs> but yes, you should go and uh, watch Will. Like, how often do you stream? Oh God! For like five days a week. I'm, that, that's what I do for a living now, which scares me wholeheartedly. <laughs> that I also understand. But yes, Will is delightful, and uh, you should go watch Will over on uh, over on his Twitch channel. But I brought him in here because I know for a fact that he loves Rain World more than anybody I know, and I've not played very much of it. But I figured if anybody's going to be able to convince y'all that this is a game worth trying, and he's convinced me, uh, I figured he should be present. So we're going to play an episode of this, so y'all can get a look at it. Oh, I'm so excited to take you through this. I'm excited to see it. As we were saying before, uh, sorry uh, for those of you, uh, we're going to be jumping right the heck in. No, no easy banter. So uh, off the bat, there are three slug cats to choose from, one of which is locked. Um, the monk, the survivor, uh, and the hunter. Uh, the hunter won't be available for you just yet. Gotcha. Uh, now, while the monk does seem like the obvious choice, the kind of the, the easier run, uh, a tune with more of the environment, uh, I would recommend have the monk as your last playthrough of this trilogy. I know again, mm. I know that seems counterintuitive. Just trust me on this one. So we're gonna mm. be going through as the survivor. All right. A nimble omnivore, both predator and prey, lost in a harsh and indifferent land, you must make your own way, with wit and caution as your greatest assets. All right then. Let's go to Rainworld. Let's get in. Really lovely art too. I'd forgotten how pretty the, this intro looks. Oh yeah, this is all uh, Meemaw's just knocking it out of the park. Look at their little faces! That's so cute! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've dipped into this game a little bit on my own time, but, uh, and didn't get super far in when I, when I did uh, try it, but I could tell that, from what you were saying, that the appeal of this and what makes this game special isn't something that would get necessarily revealed right away. So I knew that like I needed somebody present who could who could sell people on it, communicate what makes it great. Oh, well, I mean again, dude, thank you for having me on here because just the excuse to talk about Rain World makes me happy. <laughs> um, just the little family of slug cats all hanging out. I love them. And the rain's coming in too hard. And oh no! Oh no! Little friend. <laughs> so sad. Don't worry, friends. Don't worry, friends. With with Dan's deft hands and my knowledge, we'll uh, we'll get him through this. We'll get him through this. Oh boy. <laughs> no pressure, mate. No pressure. Welcome to Rain World, everyone. <laughs> it's a jolly old time. Yep. <laughs> so that's nice having you back in here. It's been way too long since we recorded something. Oh, I hear that, dude. I hear that again. Thank you. Absolutely. So whilst um, this shows you the uh, the controls moving around, so the the two things you're going to need to know like off the bat is that one while this looks like the most gorgeous like you know typical indie platformer it is not <laughs> rain world is at its heart an ecology simulation game so while we are going to be leaping and bounding and and throwing and taking this cute little bundle of slug from point a to point b <laughs> um the first thing you need to take into your heart is that this isn't going to be a precision platformer or a, a I don't know, like like a lot of the like post braid world of you know, let's take a cute protagonist and make him a platformer. This is a survival game. Your goal is going to be to learn this world. Mm, you are hungry, find food. Yeah, and definitely not precision platform. Like it, there's sort of like a looseness to the movement that, because of the proceduralness, I guess, of it here, you can kind of see like I'm just pressing left and they just sort of like shimmy underneath. Oh yeah, uh, the procedural animation stuff is so gorgeous. Ooh, hello, um, and. While there is a as a bouncy floatiness to the slug cat, what's going on with you? 
friend. If the Rain World community find this, they'll probably be able to post like a gajillion tips downstairs. Uh, downstairs? Down in the comments. Comments, that's downstairs. Uh, <laughs> about some of the, the more complex maneuvers you can do around this. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who that is. All right. That's However, fine. Uh, listen to them. They will help you. I, I noticed they were like sort of projecting like a, <laughs> a tooltip there, like press A to jump. There you go. <laughs> uh, and they'll only start doing that if they observe you struggling in that area. That's really cool. Oh, you're just following me. All right, buddy. Come give me tips. I got to go find food so I don't die. So I guess technically you've got two, uh, two numpties helping you out on this run. There we go. <laughs> it's the in-world representation of you. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, oh, we can climb. Okay, here we yeah. go. Yeah. So at the moment, it's trying to make sure you desperately find some food. Oh, it's pointing me this way. Yep. Um, All right. And I think it was a, a good thing we ate before doing this episode because, you know, after watching this slug cat chow down on some moths. <laughs> you catch know? and eat them. Yep. Come here. All right. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> just what's, hold down What's next? for dinner? Many uh, moths. Yeesh. Don't step on spikes, I'm assuming. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, can I just walk through those? Oh, I can. Great. Well, it's because if the moths see you come to snack on them, they hide in their little nests. Oh, these are nests. So you got to okay. be quicker. Ah, come here. That's really cute. Uh, also, sorry, I'm just kind of focusing on like you know UI stuff and things at the moment. Um, that's so, okay. Uh, bottom left. That's how uh, full you are. Oh, you'll I notice see. That you got like you've eaten three moths. You got three All flips. All right. Here goes number four down the hatch. Four yeah. is enough to hibernate. Ah, yes. okay. And that's going to be very important throughout this run. One for the road. Additional food above four is kept for later. Oh, yeah. cool. Great. Okay. All right, then. Uh, hibernation. Okay, you want me to go that way. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Now, one of the things that I think caused me to fall in love with this game so much is it has this, this beautiful, like, post-civilization kind of vibe. It's really pretty, yeah. It's not like a post-apocalyptic game, you know. You're not like, you know, fighting, you know, the survivors of humanity. Like whatever was here is long, long gone. You are full. Let's see. And it's just up to your cute little self on your own to to make your way through this just beautiful landscape. And okay, I know it sounds weird that I'm gushing while we're still in the early parts. I mean, what's <laughs> basically like a glorified parking basement. That's quite all right. Eh, I can throw as well. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> I haven't tried throwing yet. Little friend, is there something specific you want me to go do? Because I'm supposed to hibernate somewhere, it sounded like. God. Hmm. I know usually I'd be the first person to talk your bloody ear off, but like right now, it's just so wonderful to be back. It's really nice. Yeah, like I didn't. I only played a little bit of the game, but even I'm like enjoying it quite a bit. Oh, leap the gap. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Eh. Nope, not quite. Mm, yep. Nope. All right. So you gotta go down low. Oh, up and oh, up and a. It says okay. Eh. <laughs> Still no. Try All it right. again. We'll get there. The, because this is one of the cutest things ah. about this game. So when you get to the ledge, hold down and watch it do the little cat stance. Yep. When you get to the ledge, hold down and watch it do the cat stance. Okay. Assuming I get to the... Oh, this there one? There you go. Hold down. Oh, and I then... see. And then... And then sort of like up an A or over and an A? And jump. Ha. Okay, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Much like cats falling their first jump. You got this. Briefly tap down to crouch. Okay. So whoop, 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 whoop. while crouching, hold the jump button without giving another... Oh, okay. 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 Down. Hold. Nope. Wow, crap. Slug, slug cat. Slug cat. Focus. Slug, slug cat. What are you doing? Hold. Hold A. You're not doing it, buddy. <laughs> buddy, I need you to work with this. I can't tell Dan why this game is amazing if we can't make it past this. I feel like I'm misunderstanding the clues I'm being given here. Uh, so I think the first command is it's suggesting to tap down to crouch. Tap down to crouch. And okay. hold A to jump. Oh, there we go. I was still holding and A. Okay. And kitty. Wait. Ah, oh, yeah. there we go. Hey, I get it. Okay. I was still holding down and that was messing me up. Got it. Okay. I'm I over. always love this bit because, oh, yeah, you need to, you yeah. need to mosey. Find shelter. Okay. Going, 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 going. Yee. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, this way. Got it. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> run, no, run. Got run. it. Run. <laughs> Dan. This place is safe. Stay here to hibernate. I will. Have a little snooze. And congratulations, you've Ooh. survived your first day in Rainworld. It's not so bad. Look at his little face! It's so cute. Yeah, I love the art. Oh, 
Okay. Day two then. I'm trying to ponder how best to to tell your lovely viewership why they should jump into this. I mean, I guess tell you why you should jump into this as well without spoiling too, too much. Yeah, that's always the tricky part, I, right? Like share just enough to get the hook, to like to hook them, but without giving too much away. Yeah. So I guess the first thing to think about is that um, as a slug cat, oh, it just says, uh, go and explore. There is food and shelter to be found, but beware of predators. Noted. Thank you, game, for uh, introducing my point. So <laughs> you are not bottom of the food chain, but you are sure as shit not at the top. You are not an apex predator. Uh, you're, you know, you're not even a mid-tier omnivore in this world. Ooh, I have a rock. Yeah, and you can chuck it with B. Hop a char. Ha! <laughs> Hop a char. Um, can I carry the rock while climbing? So what I was saying about, like, this game is about learning the ecology. To survive in Rain World, you have to learn this world. You can't fight it. You can't beat it. Um, oh, and you got a moth. Perfect. Delicious. Come here. Um... Uh, yeah. You will not be able to brute force your way through this world. So learning how everything interacts with each other, learning how this this world lives and breathes is the entirety is to, to playing this game. I love the changing light, the shifting light as you go. Like oh, uh, it's so good. It's gorgeous. really cool it's passing time of the day. That's awesome. Uh, I am kicking myself for not being able to tell you the name of the uh, the gentleman who programmed this. Because uh, <laughs> the team behind this video cult is, uh, at, at least when this was put together, was a four-person team. Uh, partially comprised of a Chiptunesian band by the name of Bright Primate back in the day. Cool. That's my will fact. Um, I, well, I wouldn't want to, you know, speak for them in terms of this game. I did get the chance to meet him at a GDC one year uh, where we... Uh, obliterated a bar tab once <laughs> and what was lovely to hear was how much heart and intent they always had for this game and it really wasn't until I sat down and started playing it that I really got it um, a lot of people fa oh 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 my that seems like a mean thing and I do have a spear but maybe I should keep going um, you know what? It's fine. Let's keep going. <laughs> we don't need to say hi to, I don't know. Uh, oh, God! Jeez, oh, oh, no. Run! <laughs> I'm running. Don't I'm run, running. run! I'm running. Wee. Okay. Oh, it's okay. I'm fine. It's fine. See, nothing to worry about. I was going to try and come up with a cool, witty name for the lizard. Yeah, okay. No, he's still coming. Right. I, should, I should keep going. <laughs> where's our... Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, let's where's our little friend telling us to go? Where's our little friend telling us to go? Direct me, little friend. Eh. Oh, okay. So little Oop. friend saying like up to the top right. Gotcha. Okay. Mm, that could be tricky. That could be tricky. Oop. Okay. Let's see. Oh, do you see the little pipes on the right hand side? Yeah. Yeah. Here squish we go. Squish your little, squish your little self through there. Oh, I squish see. Squish oh, your this, little yeah, cat self yeah, through right. there. Yeah. I like how like sort of hidden in the environment. Like you can see that stuff, but it's a uh, maybe not at like an immediate glance. I'm sure as you get further and further into the game, you just start reading this stuff on the screen instantly. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say yes, and I'm not going to say anything else about it. Got it. All right. I'm going to go this way. Oh, uh, maybe not. I may have changed my mind. Here is a strange energy. Yeah, I agree. Oh, ah! go, 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 go. Oh. oh, no. I have been caught. All right. Just let it play. Let it play. All right. All right. Okay. What the heck so, is that other big thing? I, I said I'd be your Sherpa. Okay. And, uh, so I want you to try hitting jump now. Jump, jump, jump. Try and wiggle out of his mouth. Come on. Let me out. No. I think he's already got you. <laughs> Might be able to get out. Might. That's oh. I wouldn't have even thought that that was an option. I would have just pressed back to restart. But yeah, like the fact that... The... Oh, they might fight over you. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> I mean, this little journey here, you saw those floating enemies, the different kinds of lizards. Yeah, this gave me kind so of a preview much. of other stuff. Um, so what this purple lizard is currently trying to do is take you back to its nests to finally eat you. Gotcha. And if the right circumstances come together, if, if things if things that need to happen, happen, you might be able to wiggle out of its claw and make a break for it. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, no, that was your neck getting snapped there. Sorry, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're All super right. dead now. All right, we'll press back to restart this time then. Okay. Continue. Um, God, I'm <laughs> well, not doing a good job of being your uh, your Sherpa at all. I've got you killed I, the first run out. No, I think this was going to happen pretty soon. Uh, we've gone ahead and like ripped off that Band-Aid. We're fine. See, we're okay. back. We're back. We're good. All is well. So again, bringing people in as quick as I can, the different lizards have different behaviors, different patterns. They treat the world in different manners. Uh, the green ones we saw, the first lizards that you encounter, they are big, dumb, and tough. Um, 
and they tend to be... I'm trying to think how to describe them. Uh, Territorial is perhaps not the right term. They tend to be very... Fighty. Let's just go with fighty. Let's fighty. just go with fighty. Uh, now those... Um, the uh, the pink lizards are far more common, and whilst they won't fight with each other as much, they will fight over food. Mm. Eh. And sometimes that can be very, very helpful uh, into not getting eaten. So you're trying to lead me down here, it feels like, friend. Mm. Yeah, because he wants to make sure you've got some food in your belly. Yeah. New day, new snack. I eh. guess my hands are a little bit full right now. Yep, what's for dinner? It's yep. moths. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I believe down and down and B should let you drop stuff. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> so right now, I guess like that's kind of part of the puzzle, but like right now I know, to, okay, I need to get enough food to be able to hibernate. Yep. Is like by the time I get enough food to hibernate, is that a good time to go ahead and like, all right, go back. We have enough for good or should I keep on going? Is there good reason to continue wandering around? There are more, there are far more places to hibernate. Uh, basically, those will be your little, um, your little bases. Oh, Ooh, look at that throw. Good shot. Thank you. Yeah. Bean that poor moth right <laughs> in the face. I'm just still on the stick. Moth on a stick, <laughs> moth on a stick, time for moth on a stick. <laughs> eh, come here. No, the, the varying hibernation spots will be like the little the little rain bunkers that you'll find throughout the world as you move from place to place. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, come here. Death will come frequently in this game. <laughs> That's the sense I got. <laughs> if if you are bullish, if you do not if you do not watch the world as it moves forward, uh, the world will punish you for it. That's for feckin' certain. So. Okay. Getting used to the, the the death and rebirth cycle of this game is uh, part and parcel. Uh, oh, ah, none of those were words that I just said. <laughs> part and parcel of the experience. Um, one of the reasons why this didn't really resonate with people early on was because to look at Rainwood, especially uh, Mimao's gorgeous, gorgeous illustration work, is you would be forgiven for thinking this was just a cutie patootie platformer, maybe with a couple puzzles in, but it is not. Yeah, there it puts is, off a very Ori vibe from the start that this the, the game has now clearly revealed itself to be something very, very different. Indeed. And, I mean, I think that's probably led to this game having such a, a huge fan community, of which I wholeheartedly consider myself to be a big part of that. Uh, that's why you're here. <laughs> yeah. Got three slug cats tattooed on my arm. Aww. Yeah, anytime I have a friend who's, like, that excited about a particular experience where it clearly, like... Where the game on its surface level, it's hard to tell exactly what it is or what's cool about it, but, like, you have a friend or two who are just, like, way into it and it, like, means a ton to them. That's kind of a cue to me that, all right, there's something special. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's here. the hardest thing about games as an art medium is, like, the experiences where you need to go in as... as as blind as possible. Sorry, I should use a better term. Uh, you need to go in with as little information as possible. Mm, yeah. But how do you convey why you should play that? And so what I've tried to focus on with Rainbow is telling people that like it's not a it's not a cute puzzle platformer. It's not um, you know uh, an emotional uh, allegory for being sad and lonely as a lot of uh, indie games are. <laughs> no, this is this slug cat's journey through the entirety of the Rain World. Like, uh, if you give this game the chance, like the the narrative, the story, the lore is as deep as the bloody ocean. And I love that you can't, like, you can maybe get a sense that there is stuff here to find and more to understand, but, like, that's not the the fact that we haven't really seen any of that yet. Is kind of, like, it's kind of cool how knowing that that stuff to be revealed later is pretty cool. And also, like, the lengths to which you would need to go to to truly know this world. I mean, I'm sure everybody right now is probably sick to their back teeth about hearing about Elden Ring and whatnot, <laughs> uh, as, as incredible as that game is. But like... I was really, really trying to not compare it to Dark Souls because it's so easy to do to everything. You but... know what, it is. <laughs> and Dark Souls is such a touchstone of our of our entire medium. Um, but with this, like, if you wish to find out, like, the true lore of this world, what it all means, what happened... Oh, Ooh, that was a thing. Hang on. Ooh, that's you. That is me. Well... Thank you. Ah, oh. I like your art. <laughs> You're going to need to come up with a name for that little thing because I can't call it by its proper name. So gotcha. you're right. going to have mm. to name it. Sorry, let's, put let's... all the opus on you while you're playing. <laughs> 
We'll go... Hmm. We'll go with like a wisp for now. That's not okay. quite what it is, but that'll work for now as your attempt name. Yeah. So the little wisp friend has just shown you a little video picture of you. Interesting. Mm. And has currently been leading you towards food and yeah. then towards places to hibernate. Oh, yeah, um, showing me another me is a, is an interesting new little cue. Or is yeah. it you? Yeah. Now, one of the interesting things you might have noticed is it's while it's leading you to get food, it's leading you to different places. Mm, and yeah, again, yeah. what this is teaching you is that the ecology changes. Um, when you hibernate, you need to think of it like different cycles almost. And so while you may repeat the same cycle, Oop. if you successfully hibernate... Oh. Cycle three outskirts. All right, it pointed at that thing. Didn't see the symbol it showed me, though. Yes. I do have a spear I could throw at this thing. Go look at I, it. I, I, <laughs> you have played a great many games and a great many difficulties, and I do not mean to, to diss your capacities, but that thing is waiting to chew your like slug catty and butt off. It does sort of look that way, doesn't it? It's not coming to you. It knows you're coming to it. No. Nope. Yep. Oh, well, that's... A rough start. Oh, Later. good dodge, though. <laughs> good dodge. See ya. He. Okay. I know it's true. What is that thing? That's also a new thing. Oh, that. Or is that just a cluster of them? That's a cluster of moths. Oh, they're eating something. Okay. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't like, little moth dinner. There's another little thing over there, though. Yep. Nope. nope. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Dad, dad. Oh, no. Dad. That's, dad. That's fine. Okay. Oh, it's fine. I'm having a snack. What is this a rock that I have in my hand, or is this another snack? Uh, it might be leftover snack. Try might, chopping it down. Might be leftover snack. No, I think it's a rock. Oh, it's a rock. Okay. Well, now you're camping the spot. Oh, oh I love me balancing on the thing. That's cute. <laughs> okay, so what do we know about the, hmm. the green lizard? We know it'll go for you if it can see you. We know that it can't climb, uh, and we know it's a bit of a stupid, but it's hard as nails. Yeah, and if I'm holding still, it really doesn't seem like it's actively. Uh... All right, so yeah, it can't seem to climb. You're right, so it's not able to like follow me out onto this stuff. Try lobbing a rock at its tail. Eh. Ah, oh, you moved. Up, 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 Cheap. up, up, Cheap. up. <laughs> you cheated. But hmm. now it's underneath you. It is. So let's follow. Uh, let's follow our wisp friend's instructions. Er. Or let's see what the other way leads. Oh. Best way to get over this. One. I guess it's a pretty far jump, but we can try it. Er. Eh. Oh, yeah, it worked. It uh, did. Okay, flying things. Well, it worked this time. See, I'm, I'm trying to decide again, like, how much yeah. of the ecology should oh, no. I explain? Should I go, like, full David Attenborough? <laughs> Here we see the green lizard. No, I, I like that you're trying to chew off Dan's face. <laughs> As you can see, it's a great big stupid and hasn't worked out what up means. Oh, no, actually, shit, it's coming for you. No, no, it does. Yeah, it let's, does. Let's, 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 Dan, Dan, <laughs> Dan, Dan, Dan. Oh, no, it's fine. Come on. <laughs> see, I'm way too tall. It can't get me. Oop, didn't mean to hit the button. Ah! Hey! No! That's not- those are none of the buttons that I tried to hit. Come on! Okay. <laughs> that was my bad. It's alright, it's alright. This is probably what was going to happen anyway. Actually, this way, I'm not starting over at cycle zero or whatever, so... <laughs> eh. Yeah, I still need to figure out how to get up to that little point up there, where the little, little wisp friend was right, leading so me. Alright, so we're getting art again. Yeah, so there's a little picture of you. Picture of me. And like a picture of something else there too, or is that just sort of like flickering? It seems like it's showing other ones too. Like um, it's, real it's brief focusing flashes. on the picture of you there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let's let's continue following our little wisp friend's instructions. Yeah, I love how much is left to like guesswork and interpretation. I mean, as I was saying earlier on, like you won't have. No, oh, I can't finish that sentence. Damn it! <laughs> Once again. No oh, take a moment. Take Ooh, a moment. Hello, you're a different thing. Hello. Hey, Wisp, what do you think of this thing? Um. Seems to be observing you and it. Yeah. Huh. All right. That's fine. Uh, the blue one will need a name as well. Because, again, I can't tell you what they are. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Or, again, I can hear, I can hear Rainworld fans chortling along with me being like, ha -ha, <laughs> I know what that is. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll go with yellow and blue. Wisp, like wisp, is not going to work just as a term if there's going to be more of them. Yellow okay, and blue. Okay, yellow and blue. I, I mean, I was thinking of you know some more terms of endearment. Ooh, like we okay. have little like little Larry over there. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yellow strikes me as a Larry. 
I like Larry. Yeah, Larry's a good one. All right, Larry and eh. I'm thinking Sheila for the blue one. Ooh, I like that too. You're good at coming up with names on the spot. It's the amount of coffee and food that you've given me. It's pretty much <laughs> it. I'm just, I'm just powered by in, inert caffeination. That was a good investment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, so Larry wants us to head that way. Uh, right, you'll notice uh, Sheila's gone. Yeah, Sheila disappeared on me. Oh, Ooh. this is... Okay, so the greenie here is still, still trying to eat those moths. You might mm. be able to... So you can't quite make it. Oh, no, it can. It can. We are. <laughs> We've been spotted. We have been spotted. Are you following me, bud? Yeah. Well, I guess I should give you um, a little bit of a, of a pointer. Hmm. So, like, so Larry's flashing those little symbols at you, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Now we can get past. Oh, sneak, no, sneak, we sneak, cannot. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Never mind. This is bad. The sneaking has not worked out for me. Yeah, Larry, like, maybe this isn't going to work right now. Yeah, Larry's not giving you uh, a really clear setup. Now, I don't know if the purple one caught your scent or not, so... Yeah, I saw, like, the little lights on the, uh, on the little pathway flash pink very briefly, and I, I assume that means that it, the pink, uh, monster was just, like, on the other side of it, on top of it, basically. so heck and lootly. Um, and you'll be able to see the little line Oop. moving through the tunnels if they're moving out this way. So it gives you a chance to kind of, uh, understand what's going to happen. Good to know. Uh, different colors corresponding to, to different things. That's a different thing. It is a different thing. Oh. It's a bunch of them. Man, those two are having a fight. I'm just, yep. gonna, just gonna go this way. Yeah. Yeah. Big. There's <laughs> so many things. In the words of uh, one of the uh, the good Godzilla movies, let them fight. <laughs> right, and this is what I was saying earlier on about like learning the ecology. See, ah. you know you're safe because those two are going to fight. Yeah, see? Oof. Now, the green ones won't fight each other, but they might gang up on the purple one. Good. Y'all do that. I'm going this way. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're going to want to snack down on that, trust me. Oh, noted. Just, just yum, yum, yum me down. Yum, 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 yum. How do you feel? Taller, a little bit. Well, that thing down there kind of lit up and whooped a bit. Also, I've got this. Oh, okay. So, washer um, or whatever. <laughs> uh, Larry wants you to make sure you get a full meal before you head to where you need to go. Oh. So, like, I think Larry's trying to move you to the next bunker. The Larry, next did you see spot. what was over there? <laughs> uh, Larry's not being the brightest today. I went. Oh, Sheila's over there. Oh, wait, Sheila. 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 Do you have any ideas? Larry's are bad. Um. Sheila has all the ideas, but whether Sheila cares or not is another matter. Mm, I mean, there are snacks here, I understand, but like, Larry, behind you, do you see this whole situation behind you? <laughs> okay, please tell me you saw that. <laughs> Just the pink one falling off the area, <laughs> and the blue one biting on the booty. Eh. Hey, Sheila. Oh. Talk some sense into Larry, please. I eh. saw that. No, no. It's fine. Uh, again, um, uh, Mouse, who does the illustration work for this, had like a little, uh, a teeny tiny, uh, Purple lizard plush at one point. So fecking. Oh, oh, God, get out of no, there! That's not what you want at all. No. Yeah. Oh, but you did get a snack on the way. Free snack. All right, good. So now, if Got you can make it back now. to where you were. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mama's here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, get up. No, no, where we no. need to be. No. Dan, Dan, Dan. Dan. Hey, you're making me nervous. All right. Uh, yeah. Mama's come and gone, so we're pretty safe. Great. I mean, fairness, like, Mama doesn't start problems, but she will finish them. <laughs> I understand you didn't un that didn't pass, but it's okay. All right, where are you leading me, Sheila? Uh, Larry's. Larry? Okay, Larry's I'm kind of counting on you to keep up, bud. Because I don't want to go back there. Sheila, hints, thoughts. Uh, <laughs> Larry? Sheila's out for Sheila right now. <laughs> I don't know if we can head up from there, hmm. so we might have to might have to just continue following uh, whatever Sheila's pointing us towards. All right. well, the thing is, like Sheila's not really pointing us towards anything. Yeah, Sheila's, Sheila's just, just sort of like watching. Yeah. Eh. And I will say, I mean, this is something that I've kind of I've really come to love. I guess since playing this game, one of the things that I love about it so much is that everything you need to know about this world is told to you directly. There is no. It was the fourth hour of the thirteenth. I mean, there's two of you, Sheila's. Uh, this is not where we want to be. Where's Larry? <laughs> oh, we need to start moseying. Oh, we're running out of time now? Yeah, the uh, the little dots around your icon give you a I nice indication what those of, were. All right. uh, of how much time is left in the day. Oh, there you are. All right, so where's... Where have you been, bud? Where are we supposed to go from here, Larry? Because I, I haven't been checking the map, mate. Give me a hint, friend. Uh, oh, wow, no one's helping. Guys. All right, let's try hitting right from... Oh, no, okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Thanks, finally. Eh, hope this will do it. Maybe. Uh, hey guys, hey team. Uh, we good? We good? Larry? Oh, you went down there. Okay, cool. Okay. I can go down there. That's fine. 
Oh, okay. So Larry wants you to... Go back, I guess. Yeah. So I think what Larry's trying to get you to do is get enough health in your system so that you can continue. Noted. Um, okay. Again, I... Uh, I hope this isn't considered too, too much of spoiling. That's okay. I think but, giving us a little bit of a, giving a little bit away here in this one off here, just to ensure that like, uh... <laughs> to, to clear frustration. So one of the main things that you're going to be looking for, wow, two Sheilas and a Larry. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, this is one of the other things about this game is you can play it for hundreds of hours and still see new stuff. Um, That's delightful. So the thing that Larry is pointing you to is called Karma Gate. Oh, I mean, there's different names. Each time you have a st Ooh. 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 Well, hello. Some help you were. <laughs> yeah, where the feck were you, mate? <laughs> Nipping off to get coffee whilst we're under attack. <laughs> Left us with two Sheilas, which, by the way, were less help. They were not very helpful. Okay. It was nice having company, I guess. Ah. So, on the side bit, I don't know if you notice now in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, your little symbol has increased. It has. Notice how it stacks up. Hmm. Each day that you successfully eat a full belly and go for a rest, your your karma goes up, if you will. Interesting. Your karma mark. And you'll come across these these huge like steam gates. And if your karma is high enough, you can pass through them. Okay. That's, all the, right. that's the main hook for moving from area to area. Gotcha. Okay. So it's good like good to know that what incentive there is to keep on moving forward as opposed to just like, all right, get snacks, get back to base, get snacks, get back to base. Indeed. Yeah. Now, usually what would happen is for the first few hours, you'd be exploring not just the, the screens you've seen here. There's quite a, there's quite a bit to this first area to explore. Uh, and eventually you'd come across the steam gate by, by natural. By natural? God, I can't let's have some more of this coffee. I'm being a terrible, terrible guide. No, I've, I've, had, uh, I've had days like this where I just, words do not work for me. You know what it is? It's because I, I'm so emotionally invested in this game. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> I've also I, had that. I'm just like, I'm so excited. Right? Um, eh. So yeah, so exploring these varying areas, you come across one of the big steam gates. I think that's where Larry's going to be trying to push you to next. Okay. Um, mm, oh, Mama's here. Big. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Uh, no, wait. That also looks bad. That also looks real. Larry. Oh, so. Okay, so Larry's saying your karma's not high enough to go this way. Oh, is that what that means? Okay. I mean, if you want to go over and say hello to that thing, you could. Eh. <laughs> Still alive. Yep, it's uh, super alive. And now it? mad, too. Cool. If you're gonna go, go, or yeah, go back the way you came. Let's just, let's, just, let's, just, let's just go. Okay. There we go. Okay, one of those. Um, Let's go exploring. Larry, do you have um, strong feelings? One, Larry, or Sheila, somebody. <laughs> Larry's just watching with dismay. Larry, see the good thing about these green brutes—they can't climb. I do appreciate that. So hopefully, I can eh, just be really. Eh. But I cannot, I, I cannot un understate enough that the amount of eh. variations between the different lizards is yep i love how much you do have to like slowly kind of learn but just from observing as well with situations like this like this particular lizard doesn't just follow the same movement pattern every time like the ecology in the area you're in is being simulated so there are things and stuff happening constantly that's cool. So lizards might end up being displaced because of something you can't see. That's cool as well. Oh, there are a lot of these bastards. Oh, I don't think oh, you... No. Oh, no, that was bad. Yeah, that's not where I want to be. Come on. There, there we, we go. go. Yes, that's better. God, and the weight. Mm. But this was the thing I was saying. I was like, you are not even close to top of the food chain in this Yeah, game. not even a little. Come on, you guys. Give me an opening. I also need snacks. I need to be think remembering snacks while I'm doing the rest yeah. of this. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, oh, boy, that's also bad. Hmm. Okay. Once again, let them fight. Yeah. I think they're two different shades of green. Can't, Interesting. Can't tell. So that might mean that they're not friends. Works for me. Eh. Let's see. Can I? Nope, I can't. Tapping down did not do what I hoped in that situation. Nope. Nope. Okay. But there is another tunnel. Let's do that. Okay. Here we go. Here we Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. That's the stuff. And we keep heading left. Okay. Jobs are good and although eh. uh, both myself and Larry are invested in Oh, let's just keep moving. Yeah, All right. That's that yeah. lizard oh, is that's not so. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Yeef. 
You just keep on moving. That lizard is very interested in yeah. a, a Dan Slug Cat sandwich. Away. Get out of my tube. I need it. Leave. Eh. Leave. Go somewhere else. Come on. <laughs> oh, down. you are in a... Dude, there you dude, go. Dude. Oh, yeah. I'm being pursued, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. That's going to be an issue for me. Exit Slug Cat left. Pursued yep, 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 by yep, yep, yep. a... Oh, okay. Hmm. So I'm going to give you uh, a little bit of a speed boost here in terms of the learning knowledge. Do you see yep. that? Uh, purple, purple? Gotta. What are you not <laughs> colors? Uh, the orange plant down yeah, there. Yeah, I do, yeah. Grab that. I will grab it. That yeah. is... Um, is this for eating? No, well, I mean... I guess it could be, but like... It's for so it could be for something else too, though. That's good to know. It's I moth nip. Ooh. Moth neat. Love the smell of it. <laughs> That's so cool. So if you could make it back to the other area with all the moths in, they'll just, mm. they'll just come down to you. Awesome. And I like I, again. I hope you'll forgive me for kind of speeding you through a little bit of this knowledge. No, I appreciate that. Like, because I'm sure there's tons, 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 tons more to be picking up as one goes. Oh yes. So like, I, I figure this is just a nice little jump start for folks to get a taste at how much, what sort of things you can learn just naturally, and how many more cool things you will have to learn naturally to survive. Yeah. Des, don't mind me. I'm going this way. You be distracted with whatever you're doing. <laughs> I think the lizard got his head stuck that in a tube. It's just fine. I'm all. God. The brutes are so sharp. Hello. Come here. I need you. Get it. Eh. Oh, I guess try, my hands are a little Maybe full. try hitting it with a thing first. Eh. Come here. Ah, oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, this way. We'll go this way instead. Across. I need to eat some food, across. though. I've been exploring and adventuring, and that's all good, well and good, but I do need to actually eat something. Okay, so you see above you there, there's the little um, the little closed icon. Yeah. Now, this is a hibernation spot. You haven't eaten enough. Now, what gotcha. you can do hmm. is you can you can go to bed hungry. Oh. And what okay. happens if you go to bed hungry, it doesn't save your progress. Oh, interesting. So, you, so you, it makes sure you don't end up in like an infinite death loop or something like that. But yeah, so now hmm. you need to find some food. I definitely do. Uh, oh, that was an unintentional backflip. That there. was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting maneuvers you can do as the slug cat, due to like the procedural animation and a few cool things they've added. That's awesome. So, hey, food bats, where are y'all hiding? Moth for days. Moth for days. Whoa, cool little light effect in here. A little Ooh. scary. Do you want to go eat some mushrooms? Obviously, no one would condone the use of illegal substances in any way, shape, or form. These are desperate times, though. As a as a tiny little slug cat on a mission, <laughs> let's fucking go! I can smell time, and it's not even <laughs> counting toward like eating food. This is just an experience yeah. we're having. We're very yeah. slow right now, or no, time's very slow right now. Sadly, the uh, the devil's lettuce is not very filling. No, uh, so later on, you can use those for like. Um, uh, precision jumps and things like that. Oh, that's cool. If you if you would need them. <laughs> that's a cool little effect. It's so good. <laughs> Poor uh, little slug cat. Sure would love it if Larry would show us where to get some feckin' food. Cause Larry. The thing is, if we were in part of the later uh, sections of the game, I'd be able to guide you just by sight. But I realized it's been so long since I played this bit. And... When you, uh, the thing I was talking about earlier is the different characters you can choose from. So we're yeah. playing as the survivor, which I argue is kind of like the best first experience because this is Rain World in its entirety. Uh, the monk is an easier run, but the monk is um, as a vegetarian and a pacifist. So more creatures of the world will avoid trying to kill you because you're not trying to kill them. Um, but it also means there are uh, quite a few things of the experience that you won't necessarily get. Oh, you're fine. I'm okay. Getting back up is going to be a challenge. But yeah. Okay. That's okay. I was just starting to like wander and see how what sort of nonsense I could get up to. I appreciate uh, that I've not seen a whole lot of enemies, but that's actually starting to make me a little more fearful that it's been so quiet for oh, so long. Oh, here we go. Hey, right. food. Okay, here we go. Uh, you might need to drop stuff so you can pick it up. Yeah. Okay. 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 There's also a guy. Oh. Two guys. Great. Great and good. So you, I mean, you could just shum them down on your mush. Get out of here. All right. Here. Uh, as you've noticed. Purple lizards they can climb. They can climb. That's a little worrisome. Hey, I've gotten one food. All right, there's uh, there's another one over here if I can get to it. Ah, no. All right, and there's one down the ground by your mushroom as well. Also good. Good, 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 good. So good. that'll put you nice and close. Oh, there we go. Okay, munch, munch, munch. And one more. Munch, munch, munch. God, I... Come here. Got that. 
Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm just really struggling to think of things I can tell you about. Oh, we're in a bad way. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, it's all right. We. Uh, well, this will be a thing to see. Yeah. <laughs> to meet the rain of Rain World. Yeah, <sighs> that's right. I said the thing. I said, I said the name of the game. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know we encountered those ones this early. Neat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of actually just curious to see what to see what happens. That's very intimidating, though. Yup. Very scary. There's a blue light now. Don't love that. Go. Oh, no, I know I don't. Nope. No. Oh, Whoa, those that, little guys. Well, oh, that rain is make, intense. That's you'll cool. You'll make friends with them later on. Wow, that's an intense rain. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, playing this with headphones on is a wake-up call and a half. Oh boy, I bet. Whoa. So I'm like fine here and now, but I'm guessing if I move anywhere, it's not going to be great for me. <laughs> but I think I'm going to have to, because otherwise I don't think I can just stay here. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Yep, dead. <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> Extremely dead by just the heaviest rain. The thing is, <laughs> you can play through this whole game and never find out why this happens. But when you do, holy feck. <laughs> I know, again, uh, I didn't want to make the... Oh, don't push anything. Ooh, okay. Oh, just down one. Look at your flower. And a flower. Interesting. That's why I told you to snack down on it. The the karma flowers keep you from losing your, your ranking. Oh, that's cool. So now we're popping up back here, but you've lost nothing. That's awesome. What so I guess game? our goal is to find the uh, the correct karma gate to move on from here. But yeah, and let's the story. get food this time. Um, but yeah, sorry, as we were touching on, like, uh, I wouldn't describe this as a Soulsian game. You no. Know, you no. know how, like, when you play through Hollow Knight enough, you kind of get that feeling like, oh, shit, this was a Dark Souls game in everything but name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This isn't. Uh, I think while it does have environmental storytelling, it's, it's such a clearly personal story. I don't know how else to describe it without getting into the hella specifics. Hmm. But the way in which it does its storytelling, the way in which you can unfurl like the truth of this place, what happened, why everything's the way it is, that is a journey that you can spend. St oh, you could you could spend weeks unfurling, and it's incredibly rewarding. That's all. How many hours did you end up putting into this uh, in total? You know what? I don't want to say no, because okay. I don't right. want to. Uh, I want to falsely represent how long this game is. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, because I, uh, and again, Rain World fans will know what I'm talking about. Uh, I did a bad. Uh, <laughs> I ate something that I wasn't supposed to. And I spent probably about 30, 40 hours replacing the bad thing that I ate. Wow. And then bringing more bad things that I ate as like a, as a I don't say a tribute, but like as a, as a lengthy, weighty apology. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I actually got a message from uh, the dev friends being like, um, you can stop now. There's nothing else. <laughs> oh, well, for now. But oh, yeah, there's, true for there's, now. There is a, uh, there's an expansion to this coming this year. Yes. Well, that's what's gotten everybody so excited. Um, let me talk about that because I can talk about that. Yeah, go for that. Um, so as you've seen, we get three slug cats for this game. Uh, initially, there was a really interesting, like, um, a huge content mod that was coming for this game which was going to feature like a bunch of new slug cats and areas. Just a fan-created one sort Essentially, of yes. Um, what uh, the team at Video Cult have done is brought those people on onto the team, made the uh, the mod into official DLC content. Cool. And while I cannot confirm this, but from from the, the gentle hinting of the Video Cult team, uh, the new content will be uh, expanding upon the existing story. And Neat. again, you can play through this whole game, never engage with the story at all, and have like an incredible experience. But for those of us that have engaged with the story, that's a big, big deal. <laughs> There's so much. Oh, that's and so I exciting. want to know it all. Um, Larry, I could use some more specifics right yeah, now. Larry, mate, like I can only pad for so long, dude. <laughs> I need to get some feckin' steam gates going. Larry? Larry. Oh, there you are. Okay. Eh. Don't feel comfortable on the ground. Oh yeah, no, that's the thing I was touching on earlier. Is that um, I don't know if it's just like my current tastes right now, or as I'm becoming like older as a video gamer or what have you. But I am so done with games that open with "It was the 14th age of the 12th age of the fourth sword," <laughs> and King Von Don't Give a Heck was on the. Th I, I don't care. I honestly don't care. Like, 
just just drop me in the world. Let me let me find out. Yeah, um, I, that the I have been excited seeing more and more games realize that you can trust the trust the player. <laughs> just give us enough little hooks to let us know that there is something, that there is more to be found, and let us go find it. Oh, in an entirely unrelated note, uh, when yeah. you doing Final Fantasy fifteen? Uh. Goodness, our like animation video. Well, whenever I get to it, I guess. Because <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be around the corner, right? You just finished yeah, three. three. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, give me a couple of years, I guess. At this rate. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to talk about it though. It's what what a weird one. God, I'm. It's. I mean, this is the point where I uh, get dragged <clears throat> over the coals. But uh, fifteen has become my favorite. The more I've spent Aww, time with it, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like, like, I love, I love that it can be someone's favorite too. Like, because there's lots neat about. Oh, that's, that was a different little symbol there. Yeah. Uh, slow cat, slow cat. I need to go this way. Says sorry, Larry. Well, well, about time you're giving me some direction, Larry. Um. Now where am I? Oh, here we are. And a big reason is because that you know I, I don't think the uh, the boy band road trip jokes are unfair, but it starts with you are the spoiled kid of a king, and you and your mates have to go do a thing. Like that's it, you know. It doesn't. It doesn't charge you with, you know. It is your job to save the realm of man by punching the <laughs> viceroy in the chops or something. I don't know. <laughs> um. Hmm. And the fact nah. that it allowed, that allows you to spend a larger portion just being in that world. You know, going to diners. You know, yeah. seeing what is it actually like to live in a fantasy world where demons spring forth. You know, that's something that's feckin' fascinating. Yeah, and at the end of, like, it's interesting how animation supports that, too. Like, the, the in all of these JRPGs, so often the moments where it's just your party hanging out can tend to be some of, like, kind of the best and, like, just oh, really special moments one? of the game. You want to go for that one in, in the middle? In the middle, in the okay. Middle. All right. I thought it would just kept on blocking me. So, next one. No, oh, next one over here. Ah. No, no. nah, so, like, not that one, the one next to it. Is there a thing the to grab to the onto? Next. Yeah. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Okay, I just had to get high up enough to. I see. Oh, oh, yeah, oh good, 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 good. Um, where are you pointing me to, bud? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just telling ah. you. You know what? Feck it. Just, just head down. All right. Well, it can't get up here, surely. So yep. let's. Uh, yep. No, it can't. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> hey, that joke's older than I am. Um, but oh, you want me to go down here now? Okay. Well, fine. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that when it comes to animation stuff, like menial things, you know, like. You know, drinking a coffee, eating a hamburger, <laughs> just being in a world is incredibly expensive Ow. on an animation budget. Yep. Because they're animations you never use for anything else. You know, if, yeah. you, if you're making a game where your characters are all sword fighters, they're going to be fighting a lot of swords. But in your sword fighty game, you know, how often are they going to sit and, I don't know, draw a sketch or take a photograph or, yeah. you know, eat a pizza or something? Not like in this room this right is, now. This is a bad... It's getting really rough. Larry, I was kind of waiting for a little direction, bud. Oh, that way, huh? <laughs> That's the one you wanted? That All one over right. there? Buddy. Oh, uh, one nice little fact is that if you and another creature pass each other in a pipe, mm -hmm. uh, they don't oh. grab you. Oh, I'm stuck They can only grab you, like, either side of. Can't seem to go any further, though. Ugh. Oh. Uh, head uh, right from here. Right from here. Yeah, Larry led you down one of the, the non-standards. It gets a bit confusing when everything's going off at once. Which can often lead to some hilarious charm. <laughs> oh, ah, run! Larry, you betrayed me again. Yee. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Yeah, it's not great. All right, um, sorry. Now we're going to. What we need to do. Ha, ha, ha. If you can get in there. I say, if you can hit the pink guy with a rock. All right, he's got a good grip on you, but you yeah. haven't heard the second bong. So, uh, here's, I guess, a little power, a little power pro tip. Uh, if your slug cat's eyes are closed, you're kind of you're gripped, but you're not dead. Uh, if it's got little crosses on, then you're super dead. Oh. Uh, and you might need to wait for something to to dislodge you. Jamming buttons, twirling the stick. Oh, he's taking you to his nest. It's not good. Oh, so long, little slug cat. So long, mate. We might still get out of this. We might still get out of this. It's possible. Yeah. We're getting a fun tour in the meantime. 
Also, you get to see the ecology from their perspective. Like, this is what's happening in all the other screens when you're in this game. Yeah, that is that is also really cool. Um, and it, it's another thing that if you don't know it's happening, if you don't know it's happening, it can feel very unfair. It can feel frustrating. It's the unpredictability of the simulation kind of laying out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, sorry, going back onto the animation stuff, like... It's that fascinating thing of, you know, to to make a world feel lived in requires so much more work. It takes a great deal of it, and like something that's special. I might be dead, dead actually. I might. I can't tell if those were little X eyes. All right, you know but, what? Uh, let's we can call it on this one if you want to. <laughs> let's do call. In fact, this this I think may be where we have to go ahead and call it in general. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most satisfying, I realize, but it's a big game, and I knew we weren't going to get very far, which is why I wanted you here, so you could. Because like, if this is all I showed, and there wasn't you here to communicate that there was more to it than just getting eaten by other things over and over, and nothing else really happening, then that would not have conveyed what's good good and cool about the game so i'm glad you were here to do that <laughs> i mean do you mind if i have one last little like 30 second pitch to these lovely people fact, do so like uh do and then actually you take over for a second can let's see you run around a little bit oh, actually for one run so yeah some bin bags let's, yeah actually, let me, all right let me let me make a fool of myself first and then i'll pitch to these lovely Perfect. people here, i can call that for you if you need <laughs> Down to full nah, thing mate, of coffee. I'm just gonna drain it. <laughs> Get caffeinated. Oh, All right. It's been a while since I've played this. <laughs> Here was me talking a big game. This should be exciting. I don't know if you saw there. The slug cat looked directly at the camera. Like oh, <laughs> it's like, please. oh man, are you sure? <laughs> um, slug cat, you're in better hands right now. Let me try and pitch at the same time as talking. All right. Got a so, spear. Got a rock. Oh. Gotta remember how to swap things. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, <you>, Larry. Larry. <laughs> I do like the Larry ducks. It's like, hey, hey, watch he it. It does. <laughs> and if you want to be a complete ass. Oh, no, I threw the thing too close to him. He's not hanging out right now. <laughs> oh, I forget how to swap kit. God. So while I'm attempting to throw myself through this world, so the reason why I pitch this game to people is that while it can be brutal and unfair and unforgiving, it's never cheap. There's nothing that happens to you in Rain World that wasn't in some way telegraphed by the, the environment that you couldn't have learnt about. You know, there's no QTEs, there's no insta-kill screens, there's no... There's, there's no orchestrated, like, mean Kaizo <laughs> Mario level trick yeah. to kill you. Like, it's just the simulation playing out and you've just got to learn it and navigate it. And unfair can work in your favor sometimes too. Oh, yes. And later on, you know, once you learn how to, how to enact upon this world, there's a ton of things you can do in your favor. Like, yes, you are the you are the smallest creature in the food chain. Why am I doing this? <laughs> you are the smallest creature in the food chain, but you can outthink your opponents. And that is something very pronounced in this game. It is really cool. It's it's hard to think of another game similar to this. That I mean, that's what's that's what's been so hard about it, is there really isn't one. I'm glad that there, more of it is coming for the people who clearly <laughs> are way into it and have literally nothing else to go to when oh, they're done with it. exceedingly. Although, um, you know, the, the modding community around this is incredibly active. That's also very cool. I, I wouldn't have thought that this one would have had, like, a big mod scene, but that's great. I, I think it's because, like, once you engage with it, there again, there isn't anything like it. Um, a lot of games throw around that they are, air quotes, survival titles, but what that usually boils down to is, like, first-person crafting with some mediocre... Oh, no, I've forgotten how to... <laughs> right, so there's, this is the moth nip in action. Yeah, yeah, like, then they were kind of like, you got to see it in action, just the moth hanging out, <laughs> just to really nearby it. Um, yum, 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 yum. I love the little eating... <laughs> All right, let's see if I can show off. I haven't played as the hunter in ages, so I don't know if I'll be able to, to flex on anything. It really can't be worse than what people have been watching up to this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the other thing that I think made this very hard to, to pitch to people as a game is you have to be prepared to, to fail to explore in this game. You know? Yeah, yeah. Which, like, that is one thing I feel like I'm very I'm extra grateful for the Souls games taking off like they have because I that's a skill or like a kind of gameplay loop that I have come to appreciate and like find the joy in that but it took me a while. Yes. And I think that like now that 
now that Dark Souls has made me like learn that how fun and rewarding that can be, I'm way more open to it in other games that have it in a way that I wouldn't have been Sorry, Mama's potentially here. otherwise. Mama's, Mama's fine. It's fine. So just don't just, There's, just don't mess with the babies. Okay, okay. Those are her little babies. They're these little pink little flyers, and they're very adorable. Uh, if you kill them, uh, Mama will remember your face and hunt you for a thousand years. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's dead easy. Simple little tips. Uh, the problem is, is they're a really good source of food. Uh, uh, yeah. It doesn't tell you early on, but uh, our little slug cat here is an omnivore. Uh, all right. The little blue flying things are making me a little nervous. I like that you can throw and make yourself a little platform. That's such a cool... Yeah. I mean, you wanted to let me... A cool ability in a pinch. I don't know if we can go up oh, from here. We could do scooting up here. No, not my first radio. <laughs> Oh yeah, I had a botch this jump already. There's a there's a life to the rain world that you kind of you start. The procedural side of the animation on all of these creatures is really adding a lot to. Like it, this would still look and play great if it didn't have it, but having all those drifty bits on all the different creatures makes it feel more like alive and responsive to the world in a cool way. Like it fits the specific game it's in really well uh oh shows oh, two that of was, them uh, yeah that was uh, i believe a picture of uh, our slug cat family earlier uh, and it was definitely trying to show us uh oh we're not really here is it trying to lead us like hey family this way no it was showing us the i believe it was showing us two of the little slug cats having a look at the uh the flower that we just nommed down on oh okay so it's trying to show us that hey that that, that glowing flower you know what just just snack on down have a good time yum yum what a pretty world. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Remember how I do Oh, yes, I remember now. Ah, uh, Ooh, good jump. Look at you. I had very good teachers, by the way. Just... <laughs> Oh, hey, the, that's something. Uh, that's uh, an unlockable for the uh, arena mode. Ooh. Uh, which... Didn't know those are arena mode. Yeah. <laughs> We're all in today. Oh, no, it's a, just a fun little mini game. It's not something I'd necessarily recommend for... Wellity, wellity, wellity. I guess we're going this way. Uh, <laughs> that I'd recommend for your lovely viewership right now, but if you have friends around and you're just having a couple of, uh, of, of bevies, it's feckin' great. <laughs> oh, and we can go cause some mischief. Just getting followed right now. Yeah, they're curious creatures. Uh, it's because I got that. Oh, it wants the food. It wants the food. I see. Uh, and unless you mess with one of their... What the heck? <laughs> uh, unless you mess with one of their lot, they'll leave you... Oh, pee balls. Oh, oh boy. This is bad. Oh, yeah, that's glowy and pink and mad. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You'll also notice as the rain starts coming... That they all make a break for it. That everything starts, yeah, clearing out. Yeah. That and who can blame them? <laughs> it does mean that you have this this pa this last panic. Oh, I'm gonna be too far away, aren't I? Oh sh that thing ain't something big. And then yeah. there's another new thing. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't oh, no. ask. The heck is that thing? That seems to, to be it. warning you away from somewhere. Oh yeah, no, they had a bad time. Uh, also, check out the 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 thousand year old graffiti. Yeah, the graffiti in here. More oh, markings. Piss, I'm not strong enough. Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! The rain's coming in. I was wondering what was going to happen since you were inside. This makes sense. I thought I'd be able to make it through. <laughs> the problem oh. being is that if you're not in the bunkers, even that water looks really good. It is. Wow. Uh, but you learn to fear it. Oh yeah, no, it's. Yeah. Now you can swim like a tiny little bit, for what little that's worth. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Little yeah, the sound, de sound design down, this is really good, too. I'll like, really down. scary and ominous. Uh, this this game's cool. So, y'all, like, this This is Rain World, and you should uh, give it a look for all of these reasons. If any part of this is looking cool to you. Hang, let me just uh, move, just move back. So Get us off that. The, <laughs> the thunderous roar. Yeah. Um, I, I almost want to apologize, because I don't think I gave this game credit, but... Please, friends, if you if you take my word at any value, this game is something truly special. And if you 
if you struggle through, if you explore, if you experience this, you'll be left with something that will stay with you forever. Yeah, and, and usually when Will recommends something very strongly, I take him at his word. You were definitely one of the voices <laughs> who was directing me toward Hollow Knight as well, and that ended up being a very, very, very good recommendation. So Are we just listing games I have tattooed onto my flesh at this point? I think, <laughs> I think that's what we're doing. It's a pretty good sign of quality at this rate. So <laughs> <laughs> It's like the best review you can get. <laughs> I don't know if the Will's flesh review is really one we want to go into as a, as a mark of quality. They haven't really figured out how to like put it on Metacritic, but... <laughs> And Will, thank you very much for coming and jo joining for oh, this no, and mate, for this helping show this off. Yeah, again, uh, Viking Blonde. I'm going to put the, the uh, link to the Twitch channel up here. You should go watch Will. Will's a delight, and he's streaming like at least five days a week. Oh, no, I am a, an absolute disaster. Do not listen to Dan. Uh, I am a disaster. <laughs> Avoid at all costs. <laughs> but thank you all for watching, and I will uh, see you all tomorrow for some more Elden Ring. Bye. Bye.